Welcome to Joystar World. Assembly of your new bicycle begins. Section 1. Install handlebar. At first, turn around the fork and make it face in right direction. Then take off the cap on the top of head tube and unscrew the screw at the top of the stem. Take off the protection cap at the bottom of the stem. Insert the stem into the head tube. Make sure the stem's safety marks are not visible. Adjust the handlebar and make it at proper position. Finally, using a Allen wrench tighten the stem binder bolt at the top of the stem post. Section 2. Install the front wheel. At first, pull the brake line and get it released from clip of brake arms. Take off the protection bar. Loosen the axle nuts on the front wheel. Put off the clip retaining washer and normal washer. Position the front wheel between the front fork legs. With the axle resting inside the fork drop out. Using the kickstand to support the bike. Place the clip retaining washer and washer on the axle. And slide them up against the fork drop out. Place the two axle nuts on and tighten evenly. Section 3. Adjust the brakes. In this section, the brake needs to be adjusted. Put brake cable into the clip. If the brake cable is too tightening or loosing, the brake cable should be tightened or released. Use your hand to grab the brake arms, tighten the nuts, and adjust the brake wire. If the brake wire is too tightening, please release the brake wire. If it's too loosing, please tighten the brake wire. Using a wrench to tighten the nut after adjustment. Then, loosen the bolt of brake pads, so the brake pads can be moved freely. Place the brake pads contact the rim at right position. Using hand to fix the brake pads and tighten the bolts. When the brake pad can move at one side and can't move at other side, it needs to adjust the screws on the brake arms to control the brake tension. To tighten the screw at one side that the brake pad can't move, screw in or loosen the screw at the other side, screw out. Make sure two brake pads can work together properly. Section 4. Install the bike seat. At first, unlock the quick release lever. Insert the seat post into the seat tube. Make sure the stem as safety marks are not visible. Adjust the seat height up and down to fit with rider. Using one hand to hold the adjustment nut, and the other hand put on the quick release lever. Start to hand tighten the adjustment nut, until you start to feel some resistance against the post clamp. Section 5. Install the pedals. L means left, R means right. Match the pedal marked R with the right hand crank arm, and match the pedal marked L with the left hand crank arm. Place the threaded pedal into the threaded hole on the crank arm. By hand, slowly turn the spindle the direction, clockwise for the right side pedal, counterclockwise for left side pedal. At last, using a wrench to tighten the pedals completely. Section 6. Install bike accessories. Attach the front and rear fenders. At first, fix the rear fender with the screws tightly. Using the wrench to hold the bolt. At the same time, using cross screwdriver to unscrew the nuts. Take off the bolt and nut. Place the rear fender at the proper position as shown in the video. Screw on the bolt and nut. Finally, using the wrench to hold the bolt. And using cross screwdriver to tighten the nut. Finally, use your hand to press the fender to make it at right position. Second, attach the front fender. At first, loosen the bolt and nut. Take off the nut and washer. Place the front fender at the proper position as showed in the video. Put on the washer and the nut. Use cross screwdriver to fix the bolt. Use the wrench to tighten the nut. Third, attach the front and rear reflectors. Install the red reflector at the rear and white reflector at the front. Loosen the bolt and nut of the reflector. Put the reflector on the seat post. Tighten the nut and bolt. Use the same method to install the white reflector and bell. Just press on the protective caps on the axles. Finally, loosen the bolt of brake lever. Adjust the brake lever and make it tilt down 10 to 15 degree. And tighten the bolt again. Repeat the same operation for another side. Now, the assembly is completed and the bike is ready for riding. Your child will begin a new journey with Joystar Bike. Cool.